Russia has transferred to Ukraine around 80% its military forces based near the Finnish border, Norwegian broadcaster Eel reported. Almost all of the Russian ground forces stationed in close proximity to Finland are now in Ukraine with around 80% of the equipment and soldiers already transferred to the war in Ukraine, Eel reported, with reference to an anonymous high-ranking Finnish military intelligence source. Thus, Russian ground force garrisons and military bases near the Finnish border remain largely empty amid Russia's claims that it is increasing its presence on the northern border to contain the Scandinavian countries. Eel shared satellite images of weapons and stocks vanishing from the depot in Petroskoy. The disappearance of the troops on the Ukrainian war front is only partially visible in the satellite images. Eel has acquired recent satellite images of all the Russian positions and garrisons in the vicinity that are significant for Finland. The biggest single change has been found at the Petroskoy Military Equipment Depot, where a new equipment depot was set up back in May, the publication stated. According to the source, there is some variation in the strength of the bases. In some garrisons there are more than a fifth of soldiers left, in others less. In addition, the amounts vary from season to season. Sometimes there are new training batches, which means the number of personnel varies depending on the training situation. The number of military equipment also fluctuates, the publication added. Russian army is facing a severe shortage of artillery weapons which gives Ukraine new advantages. Russian guns are firing around five times as many shells as Ukraine's are. According to the Economist media outlet, fighting has intensified in recent weeks. Russia's firepower gives it a clear advantage, but does it have enough guns to keep it up? It is noted that in February, Russia had just under 5,000 artillery pieces in the field, according to the Royal United Services Institute, a think tank in London. It produces about 50 artillery gun barrels a year, according to Pavel Luzin of the Centre for European Policy Analysis, a think tank. Ramping up production would be difficult. Gun barrels are made with specialist machinery using high-grade steel. At the outbreak of war, only two Russian factories were equipped to make them. Two countries export gun barrels and fewer still would sell to Russia. North Korea is a possible source, having already supplied shells. But satellite images suggest that Russia is replacing a large share of the big guns it loses from a stock that is stored in the open air. The Economist says that at the start of the conflict, Russia had around 19,000 artillery pieces in unsheltered yards. But some of those guns have been rusting for decades, making them unusable. Many have been raided for parts over the past two years. Gun barrels have frequently been used to replace those worn out by firing thousands of rounds. A study by one open source intelligence analyst on X, who goes by Ben on the site, suggests that on that basis, that just 2,000 self-propelled guns and 2,400 towed artillery pieces could still be used. Those figures are uncertain. It is hard to estimate how many of Russia's oldest guns, D1 and M30 howitzers, which date back to the Second World War, can still be used, or how much ammunition Russia has for them. But the dwindling supply of artillery and of gun barrels in particular is a clear problem. It is hard to estimate the rate at which Ukraine is destroying Russian artillery. Big guns are usually stationed far from the front lines, making them difficult to count. Ukraine's armed forces claim to have destroyed more than 10,000, but the number which can be visually confirmed is far lower. Oryx, an OSINT analysis team in the Netherlands whose estimates are often reasonably consistent with those of state agencies, has images of around 1,000. Based on the rate at which equipment is being withdrawn from the open air stock, the OSINT analyst on X suggests that the Ukrainians have destroyed perhaps 5,500 big guns. Russia is expected to run out of barrels in 2025, says one informed analyst, at which point it will need to rely on rocket artillery, which requires far greater supplies of explosive material. In the past year, Ukraine has become much better at destroying Russian artillery. Its detection systems have improved.
Counter-battery radar supplied by its allies tracks Russian shells back to their source. A plentiful supply of small kamikaze drones launched up to 20 kilometers from their target can destroy Russian guns. The invaders could protect their artillery by moving it further back from the front lines or by withdrawing some pieces altogether. But that would hamper their ability to pummel the Ukrainians. For the defenders, that would provide welcome relief.